Hello there, Joe's Barbecue House members. This is Joe, and here today I am doing a couple of pork butts on this uh, Oklahoma Joe Longhorn Edition. The uh, so far everything is turning out well. This is my be my fourth cook. Uh, I'd like to show you on the inside. Well, first I'll show you that. I think I might have showed you this already, but anyway, I don't know. They're about maybe five. Yeah, maybe eight degrees difference between each side, but that's pretty good uh, on the lower grates. It's a little different story uh, I'll go ahead and open this up and show you what's going on These have been on for probably I want to say about an hour Maybe 45 minutes. Okay. Now we got the alarms going off. Hold on Gotta turn this on too. That's the one thing I don't like about this setup uh, if you don't, you gotta you gotta clear both. You gotta clear this one and that one, or just turn them all off. Um, so right now, because I got the lid open, it's so here's um, I'm monitoring the great temps here and here with these hybrid probes that you could do that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this lid shut down, and I have something else to show you guys. Yeah, I went ahead and drilled an inch and a quarter hole here with a step down drill bit. Uh, and this grommet come off of a WSM. You could order them by a, a two pack on uh, Amazon. And um, but one thing I don't understand, if you guys could help me out with this, uh, every time I set this here probe to 200 and say 30 degrees or whatever I want to put it, it goes. It just automatically goes back to this uh, 32, even though after I set it, because I manually set these. Because these here are my uh, grates here, uh, and that's the internal meat of the. Um, the internal temperatures of the meat right there okay so but anyway i'm not saying anything bad about it because so far it's it's really nice i'm just not too keyed in on the uh the alarm system they got it's got kick butt range too uh get them on amazon i think they averagely run about 80 uh, you can get them on sale at other places um but here i like to show you how clean this fire is burning i mean you see no smoke at all and that's what you want that's clean smoke and that is hot um i also noticed um but this cook i was changing it i went to adjust my temperatures from up here usually i leave that wide open all the time and i'll adjust my my intake from down here uh if i need to cut off the oxygen whatever you know get more um get less fuel or uh, more fuel by opening it um but here i noticed when I run, um, when I get it set in, when everything's dialed in, and I just have to make minor adjustments, I just use the top uh, exhaust thing. And I'll tell you what, uh, it runs so much um, more even here uh, throughout the whole entire chamber. Um, uh, so for those of you that don't know what a reverse flow is, here, I'll just open it up again. It's not going to be a big deal. Because it's got these plates here below your cooking grates. There's four of them there. And you have an opening right there. So basically what happens is you're, uh, you light your fire in your firebox. And once it's ready to go, your heat goes under these plates, all under here. Then it comes up, then over top of your meat, and then out of the exhaust stack right there. Okay, now here's the firebox. And this cook here, see I was doing just wood. Uh, right here you can see I got oak on this side and I have cherry on that side. Uh, so I wanted to do something different So I used the included charcoal basket that comes with this. It's a stainless steel basket It's actually pretty nice um, I'm pretty impressed with it and all I did was put a full split right down into an angle filled it all up with charcoal and then I put um, uh, You know there were unlit charcoals full and then I used a, a three-quarters full charcoal chimney I don't know exactly where I put it. Oh, it's in my grill. Um, and just threw it over the top and waited about 10 minutes. And I was up the temp and ready to go. Had nice smoke. Uh, and anyway, over here, you'll see I have a, just, a, just a little Smoky Joe. It fits right underneath this uh, firebox. So in case any ashes want to fall out, they'll fall right into there. Uh, or when I'm cleaning out or whatnot. And what's kind of cool about that is I can use those hot ashes and pull this thing out. Uh, and put the cooking grate on there and start making burgers and hot dogs right off them hot coals um, so anyway uh, I think that's about all I had for you guys oh no no I don't this is not all if you guys look 
Can you guys tell me what's wrong with that firebox? You see how it's leaning? There's about a, here, maybe if I moved this. You guys might be able to see it better. But I know I have a picture of it. There you go. I mean, that thing is bowed down about an inch and a half, and I am not, I'm not exaggerating. I'd get the tape measure if I had it handy. But as you can see, it looks like it's bowing out on the sidewall here. And then that's why it's tapered down. I don't know. So anyway, uh, so Amazon, hold on a minute, okay. Just back under here, okay. So Amazon was really nice, and they sent me a replacement, and I received it yesterday. Five minutes after the delivery guys left, okay, this is what I get. It's kind of upsetting, but here's the box it came in. And I mean, and the bottom end was completely open. There was open, open um, boxes inside this thing, so it's obviously, I would have to say it was a returned item. Um, very, very disappointed. Called them right back, told them my, what my issue was, and they had no problem sending me another one. So now, not only am I waiting for the replacement for this one, they have to pick up the replacement they sent me. And now I gotta wait till Tuesday for them to bring me another one to hopefully this will solve my issues with that freaking firebox, which is really getting on my nerves. I'm um, also using those uh, Weber briquettes. If you guys haven't used those, I've been using them here lately. Those are really good and they burn hot. I really do like that uh, fact. So, um,. I'll just show you guys at the recovery time from when I had the door open a couple times. Yeah, it's, just, it's really, it's pretty quick recovery. I mean, it is cheap metal, but it's better than a lot of them other cheaper made ones. Uh, I, this is 8th uh, inch steel here, uh, 11 gauge. It's not bad. Um, I preferably like quarter inch or, you know, with a half inch firebox. That's how my mobile smoker is being built. Um, so, anyway, for a cheap, well, I can't say cheap. This thing was 600 bucks. Uh, did a lot of modifications as far as uh, seals like around the doors and uh, and the whole complete firebox all the way around as you guys can see I didn't use any gasket. I don't like that silicone stuff um, Not that there's nothing wrong with using it. I just think it's ugly uh, This here that top one burnt out uh, This this gray stuff you get from lava lock does not work great on firebox, but it does work really good around here i also got some toggle clamps that i'm going to put here that i got from lava lock i'm gonna because right here when i first start the smoker you can see the smoke seeping out of here so and there's none over here but i'm still going to put two so it looks good uh but that'll be on the other one on the new one and sorry for the wind guys uh but other than that if i had to say um i would totally recommend this to someone who's starting out into smoking uh, I was just getting a little nervous that my mobile pit won't be done before my kids graduation party Which is June 9th and uh, so I went and just bought this as a backup because I have many other cookers a couple 14s at 22 WSM Of course, you know, I got my uh, 8 rack system for it. So I'm set, you know, uh, I got a couple of them Smoky Joe's uh, these two uh, kettles here and then an 18 uh, uh, Weber kettle as well and also my Blackstone, which the only reason why that cover isn't on all the way is because when you buy these tables for them, that tarp does not fit it. So I put uh, an extended ring here with the, uh, a lid from a Weber kettle on top of it. That way it kind of domes it so the keeps that uh, keeps the uh, keeps it from rusting anyway. So anyway, guys, uh, just want to show you again, you know, clean smoke. This is what you're looking for in an offset. It's not hard to achieve, just takes you a little bit. You just got to know your pit. Uh, once you cook on it a few times, you'll understand it right away. Um, so far, I'm actually quite impressed with it. Of course, in the back here, you're going to get paint chips. I don't care uh, what kind of smoker you got. If you're going to achieve these kind of temperatures here, or even hotter, you're going to lose even more. So eventually, once that is all chipped away, I might sand a little bit or whatever, or just chip off whatever's uh, there. Uh, once a good portion of the box is like that, then I'm just going to season it like you would cast iron. I'll just spray some oil on it as it gets hot and it'll actually look really nice. Uh, and, it, and I don't have to worry about it rusting, but that would be for the other one. So I don't know. I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions on this longhorn or the way I'm cooking with it or whatnot, or any other questions, uh, just let me know. 
there's one other thing I'd like to mention to you guys. Uh, this here, you're wondering why this cap, you could unbolt that, and this cap will come off. It does not leak out of there either. Uh, what the point of this is, uh, when they design this Longhorn Reverse Flow, sorry about the wind, you can also uh, take the stack out right here, so un un unloosen that bolt, and then you can pull this stack out and put it over here. And put this cap, you know, and block it off over there. And then you'll have an offset cooker, which is kind of nice how they have the plates there. Uh, but, I mean, you could, you know, do all kinds of modifications where you could remove those uh, plates down in there. Uh, you know, and I saw, I know a guy, um, uh, many of you know him, uh, Meat Cranium, uh, Barbecue and Review, uh, has a really cool video. It's, it's probably one of his first ones he done when he bought his Oklahoma Joe, but he bought the, uh, I believe he had the Highlander offset, and he did a bunch of modifications, which uh, seemed to work great for him. Um, I doubt I'll be using it as a uh, as a regular offset. I've always liked the uh, reverse flows when they came out. But either way, um, another thing is uh, you'll only get one gauge, and these are River Country gauges, okay? Um, I bought two of them for this because when you, when you get this brand new, it'll just have um, one gauge that you can install here, and this will have a plug on it where you can remove it and add another one. Uh, I mean, you know, they're the, the big, I can't remember what size, uh, but if you get the good, um, temp gauges, it'll, it'll fit, they'll just screw right in there. Um, but other than that, that's what I wanted to share. So, hey guys, if you, uh, enjoyed this video, please, uh, like, comment, subscribe.